You're about to embark on a pretty awesome journey. Whether you are continuing on to high school or you are going into the eighth grade or you are moving uh, to a new uh, town or state, life is about embarking on journeys. And let me tell you, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. You're going to have great days. You're going to have not so great days. The great days are going to feel like you're riding on cloud nine. And the not so great days, you're going to wonder, what's this all about? You remember you are loved, you are worthy, and you can do this. Thinking about uh, how you want to live, who who do you want to be? How do you want to be remembered? And not, I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a scientist. What kind of person do you want to be? You know, I struggle with kindness. You know, I struggle with um, being patient and seeking first to understand, but I want to try harder and I'm going to try harder. And each day is a challenge, but I'm going to accept that challenge. In fact, I'm going to bring my A game. You know why I'm going to bring my A game? Because I don't have a B game. Why would you have a B game? Why would you bring your B game? Why would you bring what's not your very best? My very best might fail. I might move to this farm and completely, utterly fail. But I got to try. And I got to try by bringing my A game. And every day, my A game might look a little different. Like one day, my A game is gonna, might be you know what? I have to forgive myself and I have to take a break and just sit here right now. One day my A game could be, I'm going to clean up the whole chicken coop. I'm going to get that thing looking nice and pretty. Your A game is going to look different every single day. Bring it. She believed she could, so she did. And sometimes when you think about who you are and what you want, and who you want to be, it's overwhelming. It's, you, you don't know where to start. And sometimes it seems so insignificantly small. And there are days when I wake up and I think my world is so insignificantly small that I should just not participate. Several times a year, I bring myself back to the hummingbird thinking about what's my drop, what am I contributing, what is my legacy. So I want to leave you with this final remembering to be like a hummingbird. constantly being bombarded by problems that we face and sometimes we can get completely overwhelmed. The story of the hummingbird is about this huge forest being consumed by a fire. All the animals in the forest come up and they are transfixed as they watch the forest burning and they feel very overwhelmed, very powerless except this little hummingbird it says i'm going to do something about the fire so it flies to the nearest stream takes a drop of water and it puts it on the fire and goes up and down up and down up and down as fast as it can in the meantime all the other animals much bigger animals like the elephant with a big trunk could bring much more water they are standing there helpless and they are saying to the hummingbird what do you think you can do? You're too little. This fire is too big. Your wings are too little. And you're big, so small. You can only bring a small drop of water at a time. But as they continue to discourage it, it turns to them without wasting any time and tells them, I'm doing the best I can. And that to me is what all of us should do. We should always feel like a hummingbird. I may feel insignificant, but I certainly don't want to be 
like the animals watching as the planet goes down the drain. I will be a hummingbird. I will do the best I can. Be a hummingbird, my friend. Go out there, bring your A-game, and do the best that you can. I know you can. Good luck.